I've seen the light and it's bright blue. What am I talking about? Well, let's jump into this together and I'll share it with you. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this guy with you. So I picked up this 400 by 430 ortho laser. This is a 15 watt input. It's about three and a half, four watts on the output. Nice little laser gizmo for about 200 bucks off of GearBest. I picked it up. Uh, comes eh, mostly assembled, not too much assembly work. Tons of assembly videos out on YouTube, so I didn't bother doing one. However, what I wanted to share with you guys are the modifications I made to this guy to make it better, because that's what we do here on DIY3DTech.com, is make things better, and this is much better. So, what did I do? First off, I got this 2x2, two 2x2, two, two foot two foot, sorry, board uh, to mount it to, and then what I did is I designed up these feet. Now, do some overlays. So, there's a left and a right version, and you flip them for the back. Now, what happens is this just sits in here so I can lift it out. So if I want to engrave something else where I want to sit this on top, like a table or something like that, I can. But for the most part, I leave it sit in here and it holds it tight. Now, the idea are these uh, laser cut pieces like over here have a pad on the bottom and I've designed it to fit snugly in here so it does not move once it's in here. But as you can see, it just lifts right out, no problem. The other piece I dealt with is cable management, both on the Y and the X. So I designed up a bracket that uses an existing hole over here. And then I designed also another bracket that fits the laser, as you see here, uh, to also hold it and uses the existing screw holes on the laser. Does a good job. As you can see, the cable no longer drags on the bed of the laser, which is good because both of these hold the cable upright. Now, what you could also do is get some stiff uh, picture hanging wire and stick it in there to actually hold it up. So, but this is good enough for me, so I'm happy with it. The other piece I added was for the Y. Now, this is the same bracket as here. I used it here and also here. Now, for these two applications, you will have to drill a three millimeter hole. Now, the one side of the bracket here has threaded uh, a threaded print so the actual m3 that goes through cinches with this now you can either use that or you could use a nut on the end of the m3 now for the this uh, uh, x i just used the threaded uh, print here i added uh, some nuts and a lock washer because of the the way it kind of takes the torque as it moves back and forth is a little bit different than this one moving back and forth it it's less of a torque on this one uh, the other big piece i did focusing knob down here so i designed a focusing knob to go around the 18 millimeter lens because this lens is a bite to adjust so it's only 18 millimeters i got some big fingers it's hard for me to get a good adjustment so this takes it out to almost 40 millimeters and it's a knurled knob and makes it very easy to focus the laser. So a uh, bunch of mods here to make this thing a lot better. I'll have a link to this below on GearBest. This thing has been a lot of fun to play with. The laser's a good wattage, the, uh, but the other addition I would suggest is getting a pair of these. I also have the links to these down below. These are a far better pair of glasses then what comes th these are what come with the laser and i purchased these a lot easier to see a lot more effective higher quality more expensive but well worth it because this is a visible light laser and uh, it can damage your eyes very easily this is not a child's toy by the way so i do not recommend this for you know buying it for your kids or anything like that this is a very serious tool and can do a lot of damage uh, this beam, you know, even at, you know, 3.5 to 4 watts is a pretty powerful beam. One of the things I'm thinking about upgrading to, I think there is a potentially a 7 watt or 5 or 7 watt output laser. I'm thinking about it. This thing is right on the verge of being really interesting as far as cutting things. Now I'm going to do a bunch of series on cutting things. Um, some of the other modifications I'm going to do is an air assist to go on here. 
Uh, well, some other interesting things. So stay tuned. If you also have some suggestions, hit me up in the comments below for modifications, which you have done to yours. Also, if you've done any interesting projects with yours, please hit me up in the comments below. I would love to see them or hear about them in the comments. I'm looking for different types of ideas. I've got a couple already, and that's one of the reasons I, I purchased this is I, I think as you start to get up around four, five, and even seven watts, it becomes really, really interesting. Now, the problem is with the visible light laser, it does not do that well on acrylic. Off to the side here, I've got my K40 CO2 laser. Uh, it does a great job on acrylic. I'm interested more so engraving paper, larger format things, because it's kind of crazy. Look at the big bed, 400 by uh, 430 that you get. So you can do a pretty big object in here, engrave something, and it's pretty cool. So anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Swag Shop's up there. Subscribe below, and we'll catch you in the next video where we do something else cool with this. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.